let's go to prime time. Uh, Chiefs Falcons here. Look ahead was minus three and a half. Uh, Kansas City was a favorite. We did see this get as high as five until Monday night, and then the Falcons, of course, won outright as an underdog on the road at Philly. Um, and now we're seeing it push back towards the original of three and a half. Fez, is that a fair move for you after what we saw Monday night? Nice performance by Kirk Cousins coming back there in the end at Philly. I think it is. I'm concerned that I am upgrading Atlanta based upon a drive they never should have had necessarily. Having said that, they did get the drive and they were successful and Cousins did look a whole lot more comfortable. And, And Kansas City, they just seemed disinterested. They uh, they were disinterested last year and they won the Super Bowl. They know they're like an NBA team. Load management, man. We'll we'll we'll, we'll win the close games and we'll 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 be fine in the playoffs, even if we have to go on the road. So I, um, Scott D says, Chiefs are going to blow them out. Scott, Chiefs don't blow anybody out. The Chiefs don't. The Chiefs are too Not disinterested. Anymore. And um, I, uh, boy, I, I tell you what, I don't know. Kelsey's over under was like nine hundred yards this year. I, I don't know if he's going to get 600. I mean, he wow. looks absolutely done, though. I know he had one play call back on penalty. Um, so all those um, those young receivers that can run really fast, um, well, Kelsey can't run at all anymore. So that's that's a problem. Chiefs will find a way to win because they got God at quarterback. Uh, but yep. I'll take the plus three and a half. Just like last week, right? They had no business winning that game last week, Chris. Figured out a way to win. Obviously, it didn't come close to covering. I believe you did have the Bengals last week. Yes, you did. Um, so a nice pick by you there, and, and you're fading the Chiefs again this week. Well, Kansas City could uh, just as easily be 0-2. Uh, they've yeah. been very fortunate. Now they're going on the road. Mahomes' stats are are are, are not up to par. Um, he's, he's, you know, it could be argued that uh, he's not having a good season to start. So um, with that in mind, you're looking at Atlanta – if they had gone 0 and 2, they've got a tough schedule ahead of them. So they could have gone 0 and 2 facing despair. What a yeah. load lifted off their chest with the incompetence of the Eagles. And you know, hopefully we found out we would have never found out that Cousins is back and is capable of doing what he's able to do if the Eagles hadn't allowed him to do that. So they come into this game knowing that Cousins is at least not, you know, a statue back there. And they have a running attack. They they have receivers. They they actually held up reasonably well against the Eagles' offense, as tricky as they can be sometimes. Uh, I don't see any reason in the world that Atlanta can't stay within three and a half. They have Kansas City hasn't beaten Atlanta by more than three since two thousand and four, for God's sakes. You know, so uh, I know it's only been five games, but. Uh, I like Atlanta plus the points. I, I have no idea on the total, but uh, I, I think, you know, it's a prime time game for Atlanta. They don't get a lot of prime time games. And uh, this is a great spot for them to, you know, have their coming out party that they, they at least bid along. Yeah, the only reason I didn't get to the window on Atlanta here with you guys is because short week for Cousins with the Achilles. That, that, that was the only reason, because I still think he is physically hampered. But we need to put the primetime narrative to bed. He's 7-3 and three against the number in his last 10 primetime games. Like, we need to stop with the Kirk Cousins primetime fade. It is not a thing. It is completely irrelevant. The health of his Achilles tendon is very relevant. How he can push off, play action, under center, how they, you know, vary the looks defensively, how much pressure Chris Jones gets in the A-gap. Those are all things that matter significantly more than a Kirk Cousins primetime trend. Uh, Fez and Chris are taking the three and a half points here uh, with the Falcons. I'm just, I I need to see it one more week and then I'll believe in Atlanta, but we've got you covered here um, with this number. 